Okay, everyone shut up. In a nice way. <laughs> shut up in a nice way. All right, ready? It's been 17 hours since I'm going to be No, dude, I can't. What's going on guys? Over the last few weeks we've been working away on a photo and video project that has had the whole team very excited. We were reached out to by um, a super amazingly incredible brand to take part in a national campaign which involved all 20 locations from all over Canada. The brand that we've been shooting for for the past few weeks was Porsche Canada. Go Auto, the company that owns our local Porsche Center, Porsche Center Winnipeg, tasked us with two separate campaigns, Porsche Across Canada and hashtag Tycon Across Canada. This campaign is being pushed by all the Porsche dealerships across Canada from the coastal Vancouver area and the mountain region of Calgary and Edmonton to the GTA of Toronto and the East Coast. And of course, through the middle of the prairies right here in Manitoba. This opportunity was incredibly exciting for the team because we've been working with cars for years with brands like Audi and Chevrolet, but Porsche, well, had a very special place in my heart. Not only that, but I'm also a huge gearhead and Porsche also so happens to be my favorite car brand. Okay, I can't lie to you guys. I've been drooling and obsessing over Porsches since I was like three years old. And now we had a chance to partner with Porsche on these campaigns. And I got to drive like three different Porsches for two weeks. Like, it was incredible. After the initial awe, it was time to get to work. So here's a little more context for you. We had three vehicles for the photo shoot codenamed Porsche Across Canada. And one of those being Porsche's first electric vehicle, the Taycan, for the video campaign codenamed hashtag Taycan Across Canada. That's a lot of cars and content to cover in two weeks. And for those of you who have shot cars in the prairies, you know how much of a challenge it can be to get a unique photo with the limited backdrops available in Winnipeg. I mean, yeah, okay, we know this building's good. How about, can we just zip down Mass Street? <laughs> it's really hard to find locations that fit a Porsche, yeah. Porsche. Jordan is doing a test shot with his phone to see how the leading lines of this alley look. And now he's doing parkour, I think. Just um, where somebody knocks on the window. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't enough of a challenge to find unique backdrops for three different vehicles in Winnipeg, we were also handed a booklet 40 pages long of the brand expectations and guidelines, which included rules like can't have other cars in the shot, can't have graffiti, can't have other logos and branding, can be illegally parked, and so on and so forth. As the first day came along, we aimed to shoot during both sunrise and sunset for each of those vehicles for that nice soft light of golden hour perfection, while those harsh overhead middays were spent back at the HQ trying to keep up with all the other client work we had gone on. The first car we shot was the 718 Cayman GTS. 17 hours of pure smiles, five of which were smiles and yawns. Uh, we are shooting with the uh, first Porsche vehicle this morning. It's 5.30. We're trying to catch a beautiful sunrise and it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. Yeah, uh, what the plan is, is we're going to go to the exchange and we're going to try to catch a beautiful sunrise uh, and play with some light. Hopefully there's some nice sun going through uh, going through uh, buildings so we can get some nice light lines from the sun. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, we're shooting on a 70 to 200 2.8. We're shooting on it because it's got good internal stabilization. It's got an awesome length for compression. Um, and it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, it's a fast lens for a fast car. All right, so we've done the, some panning shots where the car drives by and you want to catch it in motion. The reason you want to do that is because it kind of puts a car in the environment you'd expect it in, which is driving, obviously. Uh, now we're gonna do some rolling shots, which is a little bit different where panning shots is the photographer is still and the car is driving. So you kind of pan through and catch it. The car in focus and the wheels in motion, that's the ultimate goal. But now we're gonna switch to rolling shots where there's another car, where there's a car driving the same speed as the car, the, uh, the subject, and you get uh, the road blurred as well, as well as the wheels and then the car in focus. It should look pretty Uh, well, it was supposed to be like this nice contrasty 
sunbeam, but the sun just went behind those clouds. Might be a little bit till we get another sunbeam. And it also says 70% chance of snow. Snow in what month is it? April? Yeah. It's almost May. I mean, cloudy isn't bad. Um, it just, we won't get that look. So now it's gonna be just chasing down good shots that we usually shoot, but without that dynamic kind of light. Like, I mean, we got those sick sunbeam shots in the parquet, those are great. Um, Aside from that now, because like the clouds are moving fast, but it's like all clouds. Having said that, stuff really got exciting with our second victim, the Cayenne Turbo Coupe in chalk, which is a very hot Porsche color for all of you other gearheads out there. We drove it out to the edge of our local floodway, which we had scouted earlier that week. It was a countryside, hilly, tall grass type vibe, which we thought was a perfect location for a multi-talented off-road, beat your dad's Corvette off the line while looking like art in motion type of vehicle, the Cayenne Turbo Coupe. We were there just as the sun was rising, which was peeking through the clouds and reflecting on the power lines beautifully. We got a couple nice photos at the beginning of the trail, and then suddenly the captain of said art in motion, yours truly, said, let's explore further, shall we? And wow, that make a great captain because well, I'll let the photos speak for themselves. to get some sunrise photos uh, by these power lines that are slightly into the city um, where we actually shot the Cayman but we liked it so much that we're gonna come back with this Cayenne there I can't talk right now <laughs> and uh, we're gonna do some light off-roading shots yeah should be fun <laughs> It was time to shoot the Taycan, the last vehicle of the photo shoot and the star of our commercial. Another exhilaratingly quick, urban and very futuristic vehicle. It seriously looks like one sleek spaceship. I mean, the minimalistic interior, the color in the sun, those wheels, the power, and of course, the beautiful lines tying it all together. Mm, chef's kiss. With a few scouted locations in mind, we were up bright and early again to make sure we caught the sunrise around the Exchange District here in Winnipeg, chasing those beautiful lines created by the sunbeams and the shadows of the buildings. By this point, we were feeling pretty confident in the work we had put in in this campaign, but we still had an entire commercial to shoot, and we had two days left until we had to return the Taycan. So shoot day came around, we slept with our fingers crossed, which resulted in a day with perfectly cooperative weather, no rain, and partially cloudy, which meant that most of the day, we had a massive softbox over our Taycan, thanks to the clouds, allowing for beautiful, evenly lit shots of the vehicle. We envisioned a bigger idea for the commercial than a standard local dealership ad. We wanted to tell a story filled with emotion because emotion is the leading driver of consumer decisions. This is why we wrote a commercial that was about the future of electric vehicles with the Taycan being the inspiration for the next generation of drivers. We had some pretty ambitious visuals we wanted to achieve for this video, which involved finding some very specific locations. The penultimate shot involved a visual connection between a Taycan's green technology and renewable energy being generated by a wind farm. The only problem was that the wind farms were all over 100 kilometers away and after a whole day of shooting with the vehicle around the city, we would have to decide which wind farm was the best decision to go to without running out of power. Wow. I hope we get clouds kind of like this at sunset. Like you can see the rays coming in through the... Uh... Oh wow. 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 So now we're en route to L'Atelier because there is a wind farm apparently over there just before we get to the town um, for the final shots of this commercial that is like the triumph of the will. This is, this is the future of Porsche uh, inspiring the youth to uh, go electric. So yeah, hopefully it works out. We're trying to race the sun. And we have an hour drive. We have an hour drive now. Um, we have to get there before, hopefully before the sun goes down and get some good shots. Oh, well said. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Living. I just, I don't know. I have a vision shot. for things Look that I it. really want to make. And sometimes it's like, ah, I don't think it's going to really pan out the way it did. The fact that they even said yes to doing it was like a big thing. And the fact that we're here now at Damn. 
Alex, look at that. Oh my god. Yes. Holy shit. Okay, we need a shot of the car he's driving there too. Should I go try to fly through it? No. <laughs> Yeah. That's no. a liability and a half. Please don't. It's my drone, though. No, it's not. Oh, wow. Oh, that's, getting better. that's incredible. That's a, yeah, wow. Oh, my God. And then it sucks. But, yeah. Wow. Okay. What's next? Drones for drone. Oh, my God. Did, did, you, did you do the rack focus too? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bruh. Oh, my Oh man. My man. Yeah, but then it got really dark. The problem is I I got, got some really good shots right there. Do we, do we also get some got driving like, shots? Getting the car set up. And then he brings it up. And then this that's like when this stream. <laughs> this looks like an Audi. Hold on, question. Can we get some interior shots real quick? And I got her driving with the wind turbines. That's sick. That See, that's so what sick. it looks like through yeah, the center. Just Oh wow. Do you have a polarizer on? Is that one? No. Yeah, there's a polarizer. No, no, there's a This shot, this, this is a kind of fun cutaway shot. That is so, man, the dynamic range though. Jesus. Black magic. <laughs> this is normal. Wow, Alex, well, get with the program. Yeah, they, they will cut, up, cut together perfectly. That's with the drone shots that are like the best drone shots ever. Okay, we just need like the solid city saw ever. shots. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Okay, Jordan, calm dude. yourself. No, dude, I can't. <laughs> because I came up with this idea and I'm proud of it and this is actually working. You're gonna cry. I, I, I might. Cry. He's crying under his sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Got that shot. Got this sort of shot. Can't do the reflection on it. No. That's fine. Okay, guess what that? Is that a wrap? That's a wrap. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We were stoked on all the shots we were able to get, and the excitement of seeing something on paper come to life in front of you is just something incredible. Okay, quick switch from the dreamy shoot. We're now in the editing suite with a pile of projects to edit, and of course, our cinematographer and editor, Austin, is itching to prioritize this project over others. When he finally gets to it, and after some back and forth with Porsche Canada, boy, was the two-week grind worth it. Check it out. 11 million people commute across the prairies, driving thousands of miles a year, right here in Manitoba. The Taycan sets the stage for the next generation of vehicles, for the next generation of drivers. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little scoop into the behind the scenes of shooting of my childhood dream car brand. And if you did, please do hit that like button and subscribe, as well as hit that bell icon so you're notified about our future educational and behind the scenes videos full of subpar jokes. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>